So this flow is a restorative hip flow. I know a lot of us get a lot of hip tension from surfing. Obviously, most of our movements involve shoulders, um, sur you know, the surfing with the paddling, all of that. That requires a lot of arm and back movement and strain. But we also use our hips a lot, whether we're doing turns, whether we're popping, even walking to the beach, we're using our hips a lot. And a lot of times we don't really focus on stretching those that much. You know, with pop-ups, we're using our hips, all of that ends up being a really important part of surfing. And a lot of times, especially if we're sitting the rest of the day at an office job or whatever you do, you get a lot of tension there because we're not focusing on stretching it as much as we do with our shoulders and arms, which we feel a lot more. So this flow is gonna be about opening that up. So we're gonna start in a butterfly with your feet together, your legs opened out, and just breathing nice and easy. We're gonna fold over our legs here and just take a nice few easy breaths. If you'd like, you can tuck your arms underneath your legs and grab your toes like that. If that feels like a deeper stretch for you, you can also feel that in your shoulders a little bit possibly. So taking whichever of those positions feels best to you and just breathing in and out nice and easy at your natural breath. You need to push with each breath, allow your elbows to push into your calves or um, with your biceps pushing into your shins a little bit to open up your hips deeper here. You can allow your neck to release. Just taking some nice easy breaths here. Again with each breath maybe pushing a little bit deeper. Again not allowing your push to become so hard that it causes pain in your body but just enough that it might deepen the stretch nice and easy here. Two more breaths like this. And then slowly rising up, we're going to pull our right leg onto our left thigh here. So this can go a variety of directions. You can either go here, you can go here, you can go, even go inside of your thigh if that feels good. You don't want to feel a lot of strain on your knees, so if you are feeling a lot of strain there, just play with a different position that might feel better to you. You can even put a pillow or blanket or your surfboard underneath your leg here to support that knee a little bit more, because really we're trying to open up this thigh. So you could breathe in, lifting your spine tall, and then exhale, folding forward as far as feels good for you. So even there, I had to move my foot forward a little bit because I was feeling a little too much tension in my knee. So you might feel this in your outer thigh. You might feel it in the inner thigh. We're just playing with motions here. I really like to always rock side to side in this position because I tend to open up different spots of my leg that I wasn't hitting by sitting still. I'm just taking a few breaths here nice and easy. breathing in lifting all the way up extending that leg out and then switching it with your opposite leg placing that on your thigh or inside your thigh or closer to your knee again whatever feels best here you might notice one hip is more flexible than the other you might have more tension in one thigh than the other that's totally normal so don't worry too much about that and then breathing in with your spine tall and then exhaling and folding forward nice and easy here you can use the weight of your body to push into your leg if that feels more supportive for you, if you feel like digging a little bit deeper. Or you could just sit here still or rocking side to side, just taking nice, big, easy breaths. And taking an inhale, rising all the way up. This time we're gonna shift all the way back here 
and just grab this right leg and rock it to the side. You could rock it outward, you could rock it this way. Just playing with a couple motions here as you start to experiment. You could even grab the bottom of your foot here and open it up. But again, don't push too hard if it's not feeling good. You want to find a motion that feels good for your body and allows for a nice, easy stretch. And maybe that's pulling the knee in. Eventually, we're going to rock it out to the side and leave it as far as is comfortable here. And we're just going to take a few breaths here. And then breathing in and pulling that knee in and then off to the opposite side again if you want to extend that knee out that's totally fine if you want to extend the leg out and reach it with your other hand those are all fine but if you're looking for something that's just a little more relaxing and not pushing that stretch much deeper then this is totally fine to just relax here with the leg bent and just nice easy breaths your knee, you can't see it for me right now, but my knee is not touching the ground. It's not essential for it to touch the ground. Just keep focusing on a nice easy twist here. Just stretching this outer side of your hip. Really nice and easy. slowly breathing in as you shift that leg back squeeze it in and then swap it out for your opposite leg again starting with playing with that motion maybe side to side a little bit you might notice some positions are not going to feel as good as others but just acknowledge what's painful because that's really what we're trying to avoid you don't want to stretch into a position that's actually hurting you because there might be something else going on eventually we're going to release that leg to the side and just breathing nice and easy here And then slowly pulling that knee in and out to the opposite side. Again, if you want to extend that leg or you can grab it with your right hand, that's totally fine. Or you could just leave it relaxed like here. Again, your knee does not have to touch the ground. Just focus on keeping your shoulders open and just allowing your leg to relax downward to get an open side stretch on your hip. Nice, easy breaths here. And eventually bringing that knee in on an inhale, and then an exhale. And this time we're gonna rise a little bit and slowly come up to this slightly standing position. <laughs> I try to keep the restorative flows more sitting, but here we're gonna open up here with our hips a little bit just by clapping our hands forward. You can try to keep your spine tall or you can sink forward a little bit and use your elbows to push your legs open and shift side to side. You can even plant your hands on the ground, almost coming forward in a little crow pose here, but not coming off the ground and just really opening up your hips here. Again, just as far as feels good. You don't wanna push it you don't want to find a point that's not feeling good anymore or painful because you might feel that the next day and in not a good way. Sometimes from here, I even like to stand tall a little bit and pull forward and then come back down, releasing the knees a little bit. Just remembering to breathe. Then eventually we're gonna sit back down one last time and just come into a little happy baby pose. Just shifting back and grabbing your feet. And here is always fun because you could play with different positions, maybe kicking one leg out, maybe kicking the other. Whenever you've had enough of that, just pulling your knees in for a moment and then releasing outward for a couple of breaths here, coming into Shavasana. 
Just allowing yourself to sink into the ground, all the weight of your body, particularly your hips here, just melting downward. Releasing any tension that you might hold, noticing anywhere else that you might be holding a little bit of tension there and just letting it go. Allowing your breath to be easy and simple. Whenever you feel called, either rocking to one side, or just slowly sitting up and finding yourself in a nice seated position again. If you're like me, you might be covered in sand, but just being okay with that. <laughs> I'm taking a couple last breaths here. One look, last big inhale, and exhale. And that's it for this restorative hip opener.